Hey everybody, happy Friday. Katsy Bear with another Friday devotion. I love camp. Uh, I've been able to do ministry for a few years to go to camp um, to learn about kids, to see them grow in God and in the relationship with others. And so as we continue our camp series, all of the stories from this month are from this last camp that we took our junior hires to. All of them are from um, this year. In the past, last year, I did camp stories from kind of over the years in ministry, but all of these are from this past camp. And this is one of my favorite stories. You see, our camp was a Friday through Sunday. So we got up there Friday, we did all of our games, activities, played all day Saturday too, and Sunday was our day to come home. So we had breakfast, everybody's packing up, cleaning up our cabins, and we go for our last worship service where we hear our teaching, talking about our theme for the week, and going through our lessons, and we have worship. And one of the other churches that we partnered with brought their worship leader with us um, to lead us in worship that week. Now, there was a few different people. So um, the guitarist was from one church. The drummer was from another church. The bass was from another church. So it was a bunch of different people coming together to lead our junior high kids in worship. One of the um, singers was a high school girl from another church as well. And what a great example that they were in leading worship for our group. Well, on Sunday, we do our lesson and we go through all of our stuff. We're getting ready to pack up and kids just don't want to leave. What a great um, turn of events, right? Some of our kids are young or they're going into middle school and they're not quite sure or don't know about going to camp, but then they get there, they have a great time and it's time to go home and they don't want to leave. So on that last morning, we had worship and this very cool thing happened that as we finished worship and our last song, um, we're singing praises to God and the kids finish that song and immediately start to say more encore like I want more and not just that but started to say different songs like they're yelling out songs and in about 30 seconds it went from a few different songs that a few kids were saying to more worship to them all in unison yelling glorious day glorious day glorious day and they all got together to say this so that the leaders are looking around and it wasn't a song that we had sung all weekend it wasn't a song that the band had practiced but it was a song that the kids wanted to sing and so as they looked around they thought okay do you know it do you we didn't have lyrics on the screen right nothing was planned but aren't that kind of the best way? And so they looked around, and they decided we know the chords and let's do it. And I have never heard a group of students or people sing so loud and proud in their life. It made me think of kind of heaven, what it's going to be like when we all are in front of Jesus and we're going to be singing praises to him and what that moment will be like of pure joy excitement and just awe and wonder of being in God's presence and being able to just worship him. You see, on that Sunday, another leader came up to me and we had kind of this chuckle of never have I ever, and joked about in years of ministry, never have we said our buses are late because our kids wouldn't stop worship right? Our buses are late or we are going to leave later than we expected because worship wouldn't end. And what a great way for kind of the ending of that trip, that worship doesn't have to end, right? That worship doesn't have to be in a building or a place or led by somebody, but those kids didn't want it to end. They were excited and they used their voice and continued to sing songs. It was not planned. It was not practiced, but God doesn't need those things, right? When we raise our praises to him, he loves that. And our kids were excited and saying, when have you ever had a moment like that where you just didn't want to stop or you just felt the praises of God and just wanted to continue to praise him? we kept singing that day and to hear those kids sing so loud and proud it was such a great moment that all the distractions went away and it was between them and god and being so grateful for who god is and what he's done for us may you sit and think about that or what are those songs that make you just revel and be in awe of who god is do that this morning. Spend some time in God's word and think of that. There's a verse that I have that made me think of this weekend. 
and it was from Psalm 30, and it says, Sing praises of the Lord, you faithful. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name. Spend some time praising God. Praise his name for the things he's done for us, the ways that he's worked, and ultimately his love. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for... God, for the ways you're at work in each of our lives, in our kids' lives, at camp, God, you are good and you are with us. And I thank you for these kids who wouldn't stop worshiping, God, who are just filled with praise to you. Um, Help us to share that love and praise with others. So ultimately, God, that you would be glorified in all that we say or do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings to you this week. See you Sunday.